Hello and welcome to another Hello Now. I think I may have started talking early. Oh well. Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering compound clips. Now this is a cool new feature. It's basically, if you're used to other editing applications, what would be called a embedded sequence, i.e. creating a sequence. So in this case uh, we'll look this whole compilation of clips, the, the ordering, the stacking, everything is called a storyline. In most other applications it's called a sequence. And what you could then do is grab the sequence and put it into another sequence and that would be an embedded sequence. However, in this case, Final Cut Pro 10 causes them compound clips, which is a nice cool way to work. And I'm just going to go over how you do it. And it's actually really easy, really simple. There's nothing really to it. However, there are some problems you may face. You can see I've created this cool animation um, that was created in a previous tutorial. Um, the tutorial when I go over uh, the crop, transform, and distort tools. So make sure you check it out. And you can see that the clips, this clip shortens itself, and the other two clips fade in. So what I want to do is I want to grab these and collapse them into a single video layer so it's easier for me to keep track of them and run them around. So straight away we're just going to right click and press new compound clip and that will collapse them into a single video. However now you can notice there's actually some problems. Um, by the way this little indicator here lets you know that you are in compound clip uh, mode and it even tells you it's a compound clip. Um, mm -hmm. You can see that when I did it, it lengthened it and there's now black. Why is the black? Now, the reason being is that Final Cut Pro really efficiently allows you to edit audio, and you can see that the actual original audio um, I had extended beyond the um, breadth of the video clip. So, when we then created our compound clip, you can see that it extended it to the length of the audio, because it didn't want to cut out the audio. Um, now, in a future version, I imagine that compound clips will have the same audio capabilities in that you'll be able to stretch the audio out. In fact, you already can in this sense, um, but, the, but when, you actually go, when you actually choose to compound them and put them into a single video clip, um, I'm sure it will deal with this. But now we've got, like I said, issues. Um, we've got a black area before the next clip comes in. There's a few things we could do. We could grab this clip and put it up. And then with the P tool for position, we could then move this layer over here and create a gap media. And you can see that we've really quickly created a new edit that deals with that problem. However, obviously this is slightly um, unfriendly thing to do. So what you actually may want to do is try and detach audio from your compound clip. So let's undo the compound clip. Let's right click and press detach audio. And now the audio is in a separate layer. Now let's only select the videos. And you see now when we press the compound clip, it's created them without distorting the view. And the great thing about the magnetic timeline is that the audio as identified by this small green connection bar, is linked to the video. So whenever we drag it around, it's linked as if it were still part of that same video without distorting the compound clip. So that's uh, one problem you may face mm -hmm. and a very quick workaround to that. So that is compound clips in a nutshell. You can see it's very handy. You can do it with massive sequences like this. We can say that this is one part of the film. I want to group that together and then at any point during during the uh, edit you can press break apart clip items and that will send it back into the original form it was in so it's really easy to undo so you can leave it in a compound clip mode for your entire edit and you notice that it's actually left the compound within the compound in its own compound still so we can actually uh, break apart this clip item as well there's shortcuts I would recommend learning the shortcuts right click here we can see it's command shift G to break apart the clip and the new compound is alt G so that is compound clips inside of the Final Cut Pro 10 really cool feature really quick way of creating a mini sequence or mini timeline or storyline without having to leave your master storyline 
Um, now, my suggestion for a feature to Apple, and I have contacted their support, and I think you should uh, also possibly should suggest this, is uh, to make the sequence more accessible is the ability to group clips, compound them, and allow other editors on a network to access just the compound clip. So you've got your master editor working away on the master sequence, whilst other editors are working away on compound clips. Um, that's just my idea anyway. So thank you for watching. If you like that idea, let me know below. Um, maybe suggest the feature to Apple if you go to Final Cut Pro. Provide Final Cut Pro feedback and just fill out the very quick form and suggest that feature. I think that would be a great addition to Final Cut Pro 10 and I can't wait to see it develop um, beyond the starting point which this is.